So this is the integration. How can you integrate the Swagger UI and then 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 and then configure the applications and then after the application is the, is, is is configure basic information and one by one you start the your your um, Swagger UI annotations with the with the, all the functionalities that you have. You see that there is the functions like here to to delete delete specific content from the user registration that I already have delete user content information delete user specific content information from the from the from the registered user so you see that if i go to there there is a default value is setting here because in the swagger ui you already put it here uh, how the default value works and how it is done so let's let's have a start the application that's i already discussed the basic functionalities so what we need additionally we we have a meta information so i got configuration that's we did together and then we have a controller definitions which function in detail and give a description about each of the, uh, the endpoints or each of the services, REST API services. You can define it here and then it works automatically. And into the, the main class methods in the GUI, just you need to be an enable Swagger 2 or Swagger 3. This is the open API. This is depending how it is done. Then after the application is running, because then it's it's working automatically so let's say stop the application that we are looking for then is a simply run this right button click or and then the application need to be done so so application is running with the, these the two database migrations that's let's have it checked it's preparing <clears throat> so in the previous screencast we had discussed how can you build this uh, the application different jar files and put these jar files into the respective directory and then run the different jar files and configure run the application externally even though here is the docker docker compose based deployments i will discuss about the, these things docker compose files is there just professional way to handle the deployment process and even we already discussed about the Kubernetes, how can you deploy the Docker and Kubernetes based deployments. That's all the files that we, we expected. And uh, all the all there is their applications. So that means let's have a check. The application is started. Where is this the applications? So it is the application is started 2020 port. And now we can check the postman's is the application is in running. And those are who are new for the using the postman's uh, to how can you set the global parameters please follow my previous channels just you need to be understand how can you globally set because this is the test case we need to be export and then uh, and then our other other test development team and our testing team can t import these test cases and then they need to be very simple cases and uh, they need to be very simply change their port number the application port na host name host name where you install the application the microservice application and then you need to be changed the, the available port number then uh, everything what we have everything is working as expected as i said this is a global setting you just simply export the application that you test cases and then it works automatically just select export and it's 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 exported you test cases and then there's someone who import these test cases and after that they need to be changed the the host IP address and port number and all test cases working properly. Yes, that's that's the, the those who are new just you need to be look for the my previous uh, previous screencast and it's just will be clear. So let's have a check. This is the 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 what we have it here. So you have all the documents the uh, in the the Swagger UI API documentations. If I look close locally, so we can hit it again. So it is the API documentations. You see the all the description you have with the host and the, all the information local host we are in the in the in the in the, in the local host and then two 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 zero two zero port in the base URL you send text information that's we already put it to protect the tag tag name name and descriptions name and description we have three tags that's we already show you in the present in the in the developments so we have a tags three tags exactly that's it properly three tags is defined and this is documents and then and Swagger documents is, is tag is really three tags there. So you see the path of the each of the URL. 
So path API, user registration, is a port text and summary descriptions and formats and post and produces and parameters and so on and so forth and responses and then everything properly designed in the docs. So that means you can put it this doc as external server somewhere. They can look for this text and they can look for the URL of your endpoints call a yeah, base URL path and then input and outputs and then all thing and response type and so on and so forth. So really proper way uh, the documented your, your APS APIs. That's I say the proper documentation of REST APIs. So that let's have a check is our APIs is running properly. That's I mean. So it is up the application up and then if I go to the 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 actuator not the actuate information other information because we already integrate the actuator so you see the health condition actuator components and so on and so forth those are new please uh, follow the previous screencast to get a clear idea how the actuator functionality was so actuator basically um, it generates some uh, meta information for out of your your rest services and it, it produces really really many many matrices that's that's we need to be defined or that we need to be visualized how how efficient how the request response time into the in your rest apis that's the important part that's i said in my presentation part uh, the presentation part in this part i said uh, the monitoring part so so that means it's, it's monitor your your application with actuator micrometer gafana prometheus and it's really really you you see that even though you can see the your jbm and uh, how can you uh, j works jbm how with request time response time and what's the what the bugs in something in the bug into the url level into the your service level or implementation you can monitor those things together so that's i said i will i will i will go step by step so i will introduce the basic understanding basic developments or basic basic documentation so you replace apis and we need to one by one how can you implement more uh, more documents into the into the rest apis so that's here the rest api so we can check it like our apis is working we can see the end so we have all the records is there so it's properly the postman test oh, just i did it already postman checks it is run properly working this is 17 record we can do the the bonus post methods uh, let it, let's see the post methods. This is sent to the post methods working, and there's everything perfectly working. That's we expect 18. So we can delete, put, update, delete methods, and so on and so forth. If I go to the database levels, and database levels, uh, you can check it like the um, PG admin. And uh, we have the PG admin. So this is the table that we are looking for. This is the entry that we are look. They are created today. So now it's a 201. So we have a role user so maybe you can go to the role user so it has a two seven day record with the 200 and 200 ones maybe we can we can put in some test with the postman uh, with the entry uh, inserting some some role user role um, uh, uh, po user role defined here so we can put it like uh, post uh, user role now here is the user role post so it's you know, we can put it like uh, 200 what is the value is there existing let's check uh, which number so 201 202 or you can put it 218 so we can we can put it here 218 that's what we created now okay so we can register so it's properly 107 we can send it here let's, and then look for the is it properly inserted the entries into the user roles definition with the 218 records so you see there's a properly with three record in the same record you can put it here so it's with a postman test so someone who is expertise in the postman test they can use the postman or someone this is the important part how how the swag are really important player for us to 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 test your replicate to test your rest apis to properly documented apis for the for those who are not interested to use the postman they can swagger that's why that's the reason i try to share with you this screencast and this 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 these videos to to really understand how it is works how it need to be done how it need to be configured with the swagger so we'll do the same test with the swagger ui how it is works how it is done and then so on and so forth so let's go back to our browser. So